Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here with the same makeup and the same shirt and the same everything as my last video because I wanted to do an extra video that has been requested. Someone, actually more than someone, a few people asked that I do an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty video. Now, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I have never watched an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty video. I have never done one. So I don't know if what I'm about to do is what y'all want. Sorry in advance if it's not, but it's what I, if I was searching for it, would be looking for from, from creators that I already watch. So what I'm gonna do is I have the actual book right here that they send out in the mail, and I also have the landing page for the sale up on my computer. I will say that I'm gonna link that landing page down below because I find, well, I know that there are a lot more deals shown on the landing page than there are in this little calendar in the mailer. So I would suggest going to that because that's what I'm gonna be looking off of. So I'm not gonna go through every day. It's 21 days, it's three weeks. That would be a long video because I like to talk. So what I'm gonna do is I have gone through the landing page online and I have gone through here and I've circled either what I recommend you buying or what I possibly may pick up. Now, I'm gonna tell you I'm really not in gonna buy much because I've said it in the past 15 videos, I feel like, but I'm trying to love what I have now and I'm trying not to go overboard with new purchases. So while I have probably, out of all 21 days, probably two to three things I'm considering buying. They are not a definite by any means, it's just a consideration. But I do have quite a few things that I see that I would recommend, so if you do, have the itch to buy something or if you do need certain things while I don't know that just because there's a sale you need to like jump on everything offered. That's just my personal thoughts on the matter because Ulta does this I feel like three to four times a year. So um, you know while it may not be the exact same products a lot of the products are repeated from past 21 days of sales. So if you don't need it now I say just wait because they do sales so often. But alas, I'm gonna go through. I will link down below by date that it's gonna be offered what I either want myself or will recommend to you. So let's go ahead and get started. The sale starts on Sunday, September 2nd and it runs through Saturday, September 22nd. There's nothing on the first day. Lime Crime, Too Faced, Peter Thomas Ross, don't want anything from that. Okay, September 3rd. There is the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. It is 50% off, everything's 50% off. So it's gonna be $11. I like this eyeliner. It used to be all I would wear in my waterline and I also like to smudge it out on the upper lash line. I use it a lot in clients. I think the one, I'll have to put it down here, the, the color that I like the most. It's a brown color. I wanna say it has fish in the name, but it's probably not right. I'll put it down here, but that's my favorite color. $11 is great for an eyeliner, especially one that's Stila, and I do find that they do stay all day. September 4th, they have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid Highlighters. If you have a liquid highlighter, I don't think you need to get this. Um, liquid highlighters are something I don't personally recommend getting a huge stash of. Because they are liquids, they go bad quicker than powders. And you know, it's very rare that we will go through an entire bottle by itself, much less if we have to pick from like five or six others in our collection. So if you don't have one, I do like these. I like to mix them with foundation um, or use them as actual liquid highlighters. They are good. I like Pearl. I find Pearl to be very universal, um, even though it's very light. And I also like Champagne Pop and Moonstone. Those are my favorites. September 5th, we get into um, one of the things I possibly might buy, and it's not on in the book, it is on the landing page, and it is the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Illuminating Primer. I've heard really good things about this. It's Juice Beauty, so it's all organic and clean ingredients, which is really important to me lately, and it's only going to be $18 versus $36. So I might possibly buy that. The other thing on that day that I might recommend if you've never tried it or are in the market for a new bronzer that you don't want to be too warm, the Hoola Benefit bronzer is gonna be on sale for $15. I do like that bronzer. Okay, the next thing, nothing on September 6th really catches my fancy. September 7th, again, on the webpage, not in the book, is the Clinique 
blended face powder and brush. Um, I have no idea whether the brush is good. I've never tried it because when I opened it, I was like, this is not for me. So I didn't try it. However, the actual powder is very good. I do really love the Clinique Loose Powder. I don't talk about it enough. It's one of those things I'm shopping my stash for lately because I just don't give it enough love. But every time I wear it, it just really makes my skin look flawless without looking too powdery. So I do, if you are in the market or in the need for a new loose powder, I do really like that one. Skip September 8th. September 9th has the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Finishing Powder. I do love that. Um, and the 50% off It Brushes for Ulta Velvet Luxe Brushes. The one that I love the most from that collection, I could not find on my makeup brush video to link, so I don't think they sell it anymore. I have this one, it's the Soft Focus Sculpting Brush. Um, I don't necessarily love it for powders because it is pretty dense, um, but I do find that it works well for creams, so not bad, 50% off, although those are a little bit expensive to begin with, so if you're not in dire need. September, let's skip all the way to September 13th, the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer is one of my favorite pore primers to use in my kit. I do really like that. I don't need it, so I won't be purchasing it myself, but it is very good primer. Let's skip to September 16th. So this is already week three while we're plowing through it. We are plowing through it. I'm telling y'all, I'm not recommending or getting much from this sale. Sometimes I find that people will buy things from these sales just because they're 50% off. And look, I'm saying people because I've done it myself and I've learned from it and I never reach for it. I just bought it because I'm like 50% off. That's awesome. I'll never get that deal again and never reach for it. So it's just, I don't get as sucked into this sale as I probably have in the past. So September 16th, week three, day one, we have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette. This is an OG favorite of mine. It used to be the only palette I would recommend to people when they asked me what should I start out with. I love this palette. I love the formulas. I love the colors. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's a classic and it will forever be a love of mine. I love it more than the classic Naked Palette, which they did just take off. I'm not even gonna get into that. But I do love this palette. I think probably everybody watching this does not need another eyeshadow palette in their life. But if you are wanting to buy for like a teenager or, you know, a family member, your daughter or something, want to get them a starter palette, it's an excellent palette and it's only $24.50 on this day. September 17th, the Laura Geller Flawless Filter Liquid Foundation that I've recently done a review on and recently loved is going to be 50% off. I do highly recommend this if you are in the market for a new liquid foundation and don't mind alcohol to be in the ingredients. It is very far down on the list, so it doesn't bother me as much, but it is in there. So be aware if you are very sensitive to alcohol anywhere in the ingredient list. And be sure and check out my whole review on that if you haven't seen it already, but I really do like that foundation. And then the only other thing that I would say I like from the sale is September 21st, the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. I know some people are very into Clinique. If you aren't um, and haven't tried this or are looking for a good moisturizer under makeup, it's a good one. It's not my favorite, but it's a good one. Um, and I, have used this in the past in my kit. So I can't not mention it because I have enjoyed it in the past, but it's not something I'm looking to repurchase. There is one thing I skipped over and that is on September 18th and it is the Nude Sticks Concealers. What? The Nude Sticks Concealer Sticks. They are regularly $24 and they're going to be on sale for $12. I have my eye on these. I'm not recommending them because I've not tried them. I'm just letting you know I have my eye on these because it has been a long time since I've used a stick concealer for my kit for shaping the brows. I have run out a long time ago and have just been using regular concealers, but I do miss the convenience and practicality of a stick concealer for that purpose. I don't necessarily like it for under the eyes, but I'm thinking about purchasing that, especially since if you are platinum or diamond, anything from the 21 Days of Beauty will ship free. So if I decide I wanna get that for $12, nothing else, I don't have to pay shipping. So it's a possibility, but it's not a guaranteed. I will say there are also hot buys 
selections that are added on to the 50% off sales. This is something that you are able to get throughout the sale. You don't have to wait for a certain day for them to be offered. And it's up to 40% all of the favorites. And on the hot buys, I will also link that hot buys landing page down below. Um, there is not really, let's see, anything that is just tickling my fancy. The Derma Blend Smooth Liquid Camo Concealer is going to be 40% off at $15. It's regularly $26. I do like that concealer. It's not my favorite concealer, but it is one that I have liked in the past. Everything else I'm looking at, which again, you can look once I put that link up. I just don't, I don't need it, want it, or necessarily think that it's a necessity for you either. Sorry, this is probably not the kind of video you were looking for, but I am nothing if not brutally honest with y'all. And that's how I am going to shop and or recommend the sale. Hopefully something was helpful. Again, I will link everything down in the description box. Thank y'all so much for watching. And as always, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.